Hello guys from Ercos. Today I want to show you how easy it is to develop an end-to-end -end solution using our EQSP32. By end-to-end -end, we mean from hardware to a smartphone app, connecting the hardware to the physical world, interfacing with sensors and actuators, developing the programming function and connecting to the internet all the way to the custom mobile app from which we could monitor or control the whole application. So, hardware-wise, we have a standard DIN rail on which we mounted our EQSP32 with a high-powered relay and an AC-DC converter for a stable 24 volts to power the relay's coil and the EQSP32. For our application, we are going to use a temperature sensor and NTC thermistor on pin 1, an RGB LED on pins 9, 10 and 11 and the relay coil we're going to wire at pin 16. Here is our EQAI PAL. So here we just need to define what we're expecting from the uh, code and the EQAI will just generate the program for us. The program will be ready to use, we just need to copy and paste it because EQAI is already trained on EQSP32 library meaning that when we are requesting a temperature sensor it knows which of the pin modes to use and when we are describing of uh, for example the 10k reference resistance it knows uh, which function it needs to call for it to be configured when uh, we are using a relay for example uh, it knows that the relay has the option to derate the power up for a, a specific time to a holding power which uh, in result would um, drop the power uh, losses for the system. So now we just copy the code. We are going on our preferred ID. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code but we can use Arduino ID or any other ESP32 compatible IDs. Uh, we see that EQAI PAL has generated all the definitions for our pins, all the setup code and in our main loop we see that as we requested it checks the set point from the user with uh, the current temperature with added hysteresis and respectively turns on and off the heater relay and sets the, the respective um, colors for the LED. On, the only thing we need to do now is connect the USB on our EQSP32 and load the sketch. Now our program is ready, is uploaded on EQSP32 and uh, we have to use our phone to connect uh, and program the Wi-Fi credentials. We are going to use EQSP32 uh, proprietary app, the EQSP Connect, the EQ Connect, which will look automatically for EQSP32 devices to pair with using Bluetooth. Once the device is found, the Bluetooth LED will stop blinking and automatically it will start searching for uh, the strongest networks around. Here we found our network list and we are going to connect using our network credentials. Once we connect successfully the credentials will be stored in EQSP 32s flash and each time we power cycle it will automatically attempt to connect to this network. We see the Wi-Fi LED is uh, always on which means we have successfully connected on the Wi-Fi. Now our next step is to use our application uh, to create a custom mobile app but before this to be able to drive loads like the coil and the LEDs we need the external 24 uh, volt supply because now EQSP is only powered from the 5 volt uh, on the USB cable. After connecting the external power supply, we see that since the default values are zero, the set point is set to zero. 
which means that the temperature, the room temperature is obviously higher than zero and we see the blue uh, LED. Okay, so to develop our custom uh, phone application, we have a template here which includes an analog digital I.O. label for value, one for reading the user integer value, two buttons to adjust the integer value and a button to act as a virtual switch. In this application we're not going to use the button so we can delete this. First thing we need to do is to make our application nice and pretty. By drag and drop we can adjust our labels. Here on the right we can adjust the fonts and the size of the letters. I'm going to do the same thing for the set point we can see that the set point is going to be stored in a user variable and it's going to be an integer value that's why I've chosen the user int one value and for our monitoring our temperature monitoring since it's wired on pin one we use the analog digital I.O. one value. Here we have two buttons, one that is plus and one that is minus and this will uh, help to adjust the integer value up and down. We can play around with this to make it as it feels nicer. And if we want to make this even easier for the user, we can add some passive labels, which means that they will not um, automatically change. Let's say that this one is the set point volume and we can give a different color for this. And put it here. Also, we can add the temperature in Celsius so we can also add another label here like this and we can duplicate it to use it on the other label as well. Our application now is ready and we can test it online. All the infrastructure for the database uh, the connection and the value updates is automatically handled within the template. So if we just press the web preview, we can see our application live. Here is a set point which is 0 because it is the default value and 21C is the room temperature uh, the sensor is reading from the EQ. If we now set this uh, set point to let's say 23, we expect to see the LEDs turning red and the relay to turn on. This would result on the heater turning on. If we reduce the set point below the hysteresis value, we see the relay turns off and the LEDs turn blue. Okay guys, so that's it for our demo today. 
Thank you for watching and I hope this gives you uh, a lot of cool ideas to do. Play, if you found it interesting, pledge for your support and uh, thank you.